So the reason why I stopped bank fishing is because of one of my main pet peeves. Now you're probably asking yourself, Nick, what is that main pet peeve? What the heck are you talking about? Well, if you guys know, if you bank fish around cities, neighborhoods, looking for pond to pond, you have to travel back and forth because not any single pond will give you great results. Now, don't get me wrong, there might be times where you can like slay the bass or freshwater fish or any type of fish at these ponds or one pond if you get really lucky. For the majority of us regular people like myself, I have to travel from pond to pond. So therefore that is my main pet peeve. I just freaking hate traveling. So I think I found a solution to my problem and that's getting an electric bike, introducing the new High Boy P6 electric bike. Now High Boy has plenty of different models for your needs. I specifically chose the P6 because I feel like this is gonna be the best bike to get me places or secret ponds around town or in my neighborhood, uh, especially if there's no paved road. I need to go through grass. Uh, these fat tires that come on this P6 along with a bigger battery, I think it's gonna help me in the long run. Quick shout out to today's sponsor of the video, which is obviously High Boy Electric Bikes. There's a direct link in the description box below, guys. If you're looking for the exact same bike or you're just looking to purchase an electric bike, period, whether it's exercise, commute to work, uh, fishing, hunting, whatever your goal, end goal is, they're gonna have electric bike and scooter for your needs. There's a direct link in the description box below. Check it out, guys. Without further ado, there she is right there. Let's get her unboxed. There she is, ladies and gentlemen, all assembled and ready to go. Actually, assembly was not that hard at all. Only probably took me maybe max 15 minutes. The one thing that's really struck with me after I assemble this is the build quality of this bike. I mean, man, this thing is quality made. I'm talking about everything is well thought of. The welds are perfect. The tires, the handles, the rubber, every single component of this bike is of high quality. I don't think I've ever experienced a quality of bike like this uh, since I purchased a Trek and Specialized years ago. I mean, this thing is way up there. All right, now that we got it unboxed, assembled, I showed you a little B-roll and explained a little bit of it. Let's just go over some of the freaking awesome features that you'll find on the new High Boy P6. This is a pure electricity bike, which means you can let the battery do all the work itself with fully charged with the motor right there you can run up to 30 miles on the battery itself, depending on how much you weigh. With me being overweight, I probably will probably get maybe 20 to 25 miles max if I just use a pure electricity motor and I did not assisted with using the pedals. However, if you want to use it as power assisted, you can get up to 62 miles with the battery on a full charge just depending on how much you weigh. With me personally, being over 200 pounds, I probably get maybe 55 miles with the battery assisted while I'm exerting a little bit of force on the pedals. The entire bike itself weighs around 65 pounds. So yeah, it's not too, too bad. You can't expect a super, super lightweight e-bike because the battery puts some weight on it as well as the motor. You have these awesome front shocks right there that really absorbs, man, they are soft and you can adjust the shockness of it right here by adjusting it plus or minus right here on top. So that's pretty cool. Really, really beneficial, especially if you're trying to look for that back back lake or back pond to catch that big old fish out in the middle of nowhere. I mean, this is gonna absorb some shock, especially if you're hunting too. You're trying to go to your blind. That's really nice to go over those humps in that trail. For safety, you have front and you have rear disc brakes right there. These disc brakes, obviously, if you know, if you're big into mountain biking, only come on high-end bikes. So having these type of brake system on the High Boy P6, that should show you itself that this is a high quality bike. And also you're gonna get nine gears right here, Shimano gearing, Shimano Altus, which is a pretty good gearing system by Shimano for bikes. As you see right there, really, really nice touch on the high-end P6. To get a full charge on the High Boy P6, it takes about six to seven hours, and the max speed you can go on this bike on mode five is 20 miles per hour. Obviously, that's gonna be dependent on weight. With me personally, I probably hit 21, 22 miles per hour to be frank. And check it out, man. It also comes with a light system right there and a horn. 
As I stated, man, I'm super, super excited about this new Highboy P6, guys. If you're really interested in this exact bike, there's a direct link in the description box below. Check it out. It's a great company, high quality electric bikes and scooters. I highly recommend it. And look, I'm not trying to sell you anything, right? But when I do sponsors with companies, I pick and choose because I get a bunch of companies randomly emailing me asking me to sponsor them, but I won't do it unless I believe in a product and the High Boy P6, I do believe. But I guess right now you're probably sick and tired of me talking. Let's take this bad boy out to our secret spot and see if we can slay some fish today. Yo, one thing that I've noticed right away about this new High Boy P6 is how effortless it is to ride this. I'm actually having a lot of fun. And I don't even know the last time I rode a bike. I mean, man, I'm just, I'm barely pedaling. Check it out, I'm barely pedaling. And the battery's doing its thing is that I'm on mode one right here, as you can see, which is the lowest setting. If I put it on mode five, it will really take off. And check this out. I don't have to pedal at all. I can let the battery do the work. Oh, here we go. Look at that, accelerator. Look how fast I'm going on mode one. That's insane. All right, I want to show you guys how easy it is. If you're trying to go fishing or hunting, it is to go off the beaten path here. Check this out. With the 26 inch tires here, we're easily to navigate through this rough terrain. I imagine this is what it's going to be like if you're going to your hunting stand or if you're trying to go to that back lake. Thick grass, thick thorns. And here we go. We're just going to let the battery do the work. See? On the accelerator. Woo! I'm going almost 15, 15 over 15 miles an hour, 16, 17. I mean, it's real smooth with the shocks and everything. The big four inch, 26 inch tires. I'm able to cruise to my fishing spot so easily, man, so easily. Up the hill effortlessly. I'm not even doing anything. The bike is doing all its work. Come on, baby, get up there. Put my fat butt on the trail. Come on, battery. Come on. Oh, maybe I should put it in a higher mode. <laughs> That'll probably get me up easily. All right, here we go. Woo, it's a beautiful day. Try to do some fishing. See a lot of birds working. A little bit late, it's getting a little bit hot, but you know, we're gonna try for 30, 40 minutes. See if we can run our luck and see if we can get my bike to get me there. <laughs> All right, we are here and it is smelling pretty bad. <laughs> It doesn't matter. We're going to try our best to see if we can catch some fish. Got a good water movement. Of course, that could be sewage water. We're not going to keep any fish and eat them, obviously. It's not good for your health. <laughs> I don't think it's deep here at all. Nah, it's not deep at all. But uh, we're going to see if there's some fish. Kind of taking advantage of this drain right here. Perhaps we get something to bite. There's a big fish right there. Probably a catfish, I'm thinking. I think uh, I understand that this is a very, very highly pressured spot. So <laughs> all the fish that are here, I know there's fish here. I've seen everything that's been thrown at them. So it'll be interesting to see if we can get something to bite. He's just using a simple paddle tail. Okay, I do see some fish. I'm not sure what that is. So it could be like tilapia. Oh, is that a bass? That could be a bass right there. See something in the water. Let me get an bite. Oh, I had him on, man. I had him on, whatever that was. Dang it. It's like I've been red fishing so long, I forgot how to set the hook on a bass. <laughs> I just saw a humongous freaking bass just jump in the air over there. Oh my god. That dude was humongous. Kind of a five pounder. Holy smoke, it was big. Yeah, so I know the fish are here, man. I've caught good fish here before. It's just trying to get them to bite. It's so highly pressured here. And they have so much bait. So much waste and sewage coming out. <laughs> it's hard to get them to bite. Just gotta get lucky, man. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I did get one bite. I saw a couple of bass, catfish. Uh, I mean, this place is a great place to fish, uh, but I am looking, the point of all this is I'm looking forward to adding more bank fishing videos on my channel with the High Boy P6. So you guys check it out. 
There's a direct link in the description box below if you're looking for a high quality e-bike to bank fish hunt, commute, anything, exercise, take a hard look at the High Boy P6. Once again, I won't mention any products unless I actually really believe in it because I get tons of emails every month asking me to sponsor certain products, which I don't because I don't want to lead you guys astray. But this High Boy is really a legit e-bike that I am really looking forward to taking my YouTube bait fishing to another level. All right, guys, that's going to be it. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment. Please, please leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Are you going to get one? Do you think it's a waste of money? Are there better alternatives? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear all your opinions. I love every single one of you guys, and we'll catch you on the next one.